And Donald Trump hit the campaign trail in the battleground state of Ohio for the first time since securing the Republican nomination. And President Biden attended the annual D.C. Gridiron Dinner, both candidates issuing very different warnings on the campaign trail. With the very latest, Sirakshi Rai from The Hill joining us this morning. Sirakshi, good morning. Trump had some pretty strong words campaigning in Ohio yesterday. What did our former president have to say? He really, you know, went ahead. I hit the hit the ball running uh, on the campaign trail in Ohio. Um, he was campaigning for Republican candidate for Senate, Bernie Moreno, um, whose primaries are coming up on Tuesday, where he really was talking about the auto industry, but then went into um, a comment calling, uh, saying that there would be a bloodbath in the country if he wasn't reelected in November. Now, you know, he was talking about the auto industry and his campaign later clarified his comments. This is after President Biden's campaign really seized on those comments and said that this is exactly why President Biden is the candidate that um, should win the November election and, and highlighted former President Trump's comments saying that he was calling for, for violence, um, you know, if he didn't win the election. Now, President Trump's campaign later clarified and said that his comments were an extension of what he was saying about the auto industry and talking about how the tariff rates would be escalated if he wasn't reelected. So there was a back and forth between his campaign and President Biden's campaign last night. All right, and let's, I know we have something to show our viewers, Sirakshi. Let's show our viewers that clip, and I'll talk to you on the other side. If you're listening, President Xi, and you and I are friends, but he understands the way I deal, we're going to put a 100 percent tariff on every single car that comes across the line, and you're not going to be able to sell those cars. If I get elected, now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole, that's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. Now, Sirachi, to your point, that clarification was needed. Like you mentioned, he was talking about the auto industry. Let's talk about President Biden, though. He was at the Gridiron Dinner in D.C. What did he have to say? President Biden was at the Gridiron Dinner. Now, this was his first time attending as president. Um, it was He was speaking to a crowd of about 650 people, where the who's who of D.C.'s political scene was, was really there at this dinner last night. You know, he made a couple of jokes um, about his age, about his memory, and he made a lot of jabs at former President Trump. You know, he said that there's one candidate who's um, unfit, and who's old, and then the other candidate is me. So he was really, um, you know, taking a humorous stab at some of the criticism surrounding, um, you know, remarks that that people feel that he's too old to be president, that, you know, um, the recent remarks about his memory, and he decided to take a lighthearted approach. Now, obviously, he was um, taking jabs at former President Trump, and that's really kind of the rhetoric that we're going to see from both uh, President Biden going into, um, you know, his campaign for the November elections. Yeah, we still have eight months ahead. Sirakshi Rai, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.